to my channel i'm your favorite doctor sita here today again with a new pickup i am reading and today's topic is all about what your future spouses really want you to know whatever going on with them i know you guys in a separation you guys are not in a contact with each other you don't know who is your future spouse and they don't know you as well so what is exactly your future spouse is telling you that is very much needed for you to know okay so no contact not in a connection with your future spouse with your future life partner all over but they are really trying to give you some messages okay so what is that exactly this is gonna be today's topic and my darlings if you're new to my channel have no idea what is going on let me tell you i am an intuitive tarot reader i use my intuition and magical power to channel messages from angels and universe to guide you guys this is purely intuitive best reading my darling trust your intuition trust your gut feelings in order to choose the perfect group for yourself and if you're drawn to more than one group feel free to choose this group my darling maybe you got some extra messages from angels and universe so i already shuffled these three beautiful cards for my three beautiful group from the wild unknown archetypes deck okay my darling so so we're gonna be looking at those beautiful three groups right my darling so this is group number one the queen that is card number 11 okay beautiful queen card don't worry my darling i will give you a beautiful closure look this is group number two card number 65 that is the prayer wow that's amazing right and this is my beautiful group number three card number 48 the underworld wow <laughs> it is already giving me some mafia vibes <laughs> of course not literally a person will be a mafia but yeah mm, some kind of a dawn dawn energies here the underworld card number 48 okay so my darling it's time for a beautiful closure look choose whatever group whatever pile you are drawn to if you're drawn to more than one pile feel free to choose those maybe you got some extra messages that angels wants you to know okay so it's time for a beautiful closure look i hope my darling you choose the perfect group for yourself i'll give the timestamps in the description box go there click on the timestamps and the video will give you the exact timing when your pile is going to be started and my darling if you're not into my soul type go ahead subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified by youtube whenever i upload new videos and if you're interested in go to my channel then there you will find community tab and there i upload peak and image reading every day choose an image and swipe to see your beautiful guided result okay my darling so let's not waste time jump into your reading hello my darlings my beautiful group number one my queens or kings okay whatever so you choose this amazing card number 11 that is all about the queen so first of all my darling you choose the card number 11 number 11 is all about twin flame numbers one one or maybe you're gonna be seeing lots of one 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 and whenever you see 11 11 or one 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 or this repeating number one it's time to love yourself okay it's time to manifest whatever makes you happy also my darling your future spouse maybe someone they are very much healing or you are very much healing because i don't know i can sense like a beautiful snake is here okay the first thing that is really you know catching my eyes this beautiful snake i can sense that my group number one whoever you choose this pile you're very much healing okay you have lots of healing qualities in yourself and you can heal yourself you can heal your person you can heal whatever whoever you are talking to so maybe you are and highly empath okay you are so empathetic like you can pick up other people's energy so well i can see lots of red color here as you can see lots of red color maybe you are watching this video you are in your periods of course if you are a female maybe you know periods are coming for you or you have just completed this moon cycle or whatever because i can sense if you are really waiting for your periods to come they are really coming okay <laughs> um i don't know something red is here maybe your flow is very good in this month or if you're a male watching this video 
your muscles are really becoming more strong so if you're really working on your muscles working um to, you know to strengthen your body or having a beautiful muscular body whatever okay your body is becoming more strong because i can sense a mars energy easier as you can see this beautiful hand it is kind of like healing hand that is exactly coming towards you and it's coming with such i know such a sudden manner that you will be shocked by their behavior like oh my god why they are really uh giving me their hand okay why they're really giving me their beautiful hand you will get shocked by their approach and believe it or not my darling you are a queen so be like a queen okay value yourself and please accept that you got many talents than usual you know why the queen is the card of the empress okay so for me empress energy is yours maybe you are someone watching having beautiful earth energy right now like taurus or capricorn specifically you know taurus energy is very much strong here you love luxuries so what's your future spouse is trying to tell you that they're coming in your life and they are literally starting this friendship they're gonna be taking initials in this relationship believe it or not because i can sense this hand is here that is coming towards you so you are really not expecting them to you know to um bring that kind of a relationship towards you but they are bringing that also with this amazing moon that is exactly in center of this reading i am getting that this relationship will be very much emotional there is lots of emotional connection that is going on here i'm getting that you know the queen like her counterpart the king the queen has a dualistic nature either she presides over the realm with grace and eloquence that comes from the heavens to uplift the spirit of others or she falls into petty contemptuous mood casting of shadow across the land so if the king is the ego the queen is the expression of that ego so i am getting that if your king or if your person is going to be the good one then you are going to be expressing lots of good vibrations so my darling as you can see whatever your person is going through that is exactly you know that results that you can feel it okay so let me tell you what i am getting you know maybe right now you're watching this video you are going through some certain mood fluctuation or some mood swing suddenly you are feeling so irritated suddenly you are feeling so happy suddenly you are so much confident and exactly the next moment you feel like oh my god i have no confident like low self-esteem yeah if this is happening to you you are exactly five you know you and your person are having that fifth dimensional connection your person exactly they are doing something and you are their expression so whatever they are going through your person is not going to be expressing that to other people but you're going to be expressing that i'm already sensing that you guys can channel each other's message so easily and sometimes you are getting impatient to meet them because i can sense my group number one you can feel your person's energy and you really want to feel your person as a human being in 3d okay so that exactly coming for you very 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 soon that i can sense my darlings so yeah i hope yeah that's okay so my darling you choose a queen also telling me there is like huge luxuries or money that is coming towards you lots of money luxuries happiness that is yours you know this card got lots of messages because i can see the red color that is about root chakra i can see the yellow color that is that is about solar plexus chakra and with the snake i am getting that kundalini chakra that is awakening with this white lotus so your person is someone that they are very much confident they're very much foodie and they have lots of willpower and they are superly career oriented so why your person is not in your life because of their career because of they are doing lots of things in their career they're really going through lots of chapters in their life they're going through their karmics you know i'm getting that your person really wants to hold your hand really they want to you know spread their hand towards you 
but something is really blocking them it's maybe their karmic cycles it's maybe their work pressure it's maybe something that they really need to complete before they can come towards you and exactly your person is completing that freaking cycle of their life so my darling i know you are really becoming impatient just hold on because your person is almost in your life and Oh my god, the queen, of course, my darling, you guys are the intuitive queens. Even intuitively, you guys know that, yes, this person is coming towards you. Okay, not only queen, you may be a male watching this video, but you also got that amazing creative feminine energy into yourself. So why your person is not in your life, okay? What is really making them so late? Um, yeah, let's take this card. Okay, the guidance is here. That is card number three. So I am getting my group number one. Your person is someone that they are divinely guided towards you. You have to faith. I know you have to keep faith on angels, on universe, on the divine power. Because I can sense your ancestors and your angels are guiding your person to you. And oh my God, you're going to be meeting in a, such a sudden moment. And it feels like, yes damn yes we are guided look at that i am meeting you in this kind of circumstances that is freaking divine timing yes number three is going to be important for you as i can see like you can see lots of 333 three, three, or 1313 three, or 1111 11. these numbers are here also with the you know three of pentacle that is a guidance card I am getting my darlings, your person may be having Taurus or Capricorn energy or you can meet them through your work or something that you do or some kind of work environment is very much here. I'm getting that your person is someone that they love to work and right now they are really working so don't worry they are really not checking out others and they are not in a relationship they are superly bachelor but they're working in their career in their domain in their sphere whatever they're really earning money the queen is here so luxuriousness is coming towards you also you got the rebel energy that is number four um that rebel energy is all about your person is going to be someone very powerful look at that why your person is not in your life because your person is there they are working too hard on themselves so that they can compete with other enemies so that they can compete with other competitors your person is going to be very much rebellious they are like you no know, revenge takers i know you no know, taking revenge is not so good vibe but your person really go crazy you know they are very much competitive competitiveness is something that your person really like maybe your person's mars or sun position is very strong okay maybe their aries and scorpio or having you know leo these kind of positions are very strong that's why they are superly active you may seem that your person is someone that they love to run they love to have you know a beautiful exercise they're really running they're really enjoying their physical movement your person is someone that they enjoy their physical movement they love fire they love to you know they love challenges they love tough things they really go to some mission and they uh, crack those uh, strong puzzles oh my god with the rebel energy why you guys are not con in connection because to tell the truth my darling your person really want to prove themselves to somebody or to some institution your person really want to prove um to other people that who they actually are that's why they are working too hard on themselves this is very much determined kind of a person okay um they believe in themselves they got lots of they got lots of self-love and they have faith on their own power so what's more yeah a schizophrenia is here so your person sometimes um they are also you know getting diverted sometimes they also wanted to have a beautiful family and again they are really thinking about their career so maybe they're having two things you know that they need to handle it right now maybe they are really going through some career issue maybe they are you know having very much busyness in their career having tough situation in their career at the same point of time they are literally letting go of something or someone or they are fighting back their fear so your person right now why why you guys are not together why you guys are separated because of something that your person needs to let go before they can come to you something that is really creating lots of 
confusion in your person's mind i hope you get my point to my group number one okay your person is a bit confused or they are like like to a saw, like they're confused. Some people are literally misguiding them or telling them some misinformation, um, giving them misinformation. So your person really need to get rid of that toxic energy. For some of you, your person is really getting out of a karmic relationship. So that's why your person cannot be with you right now. So you guys are separated and look at that. Your person is really going to lots and lots and lots of healthier transformation yeah mortality and sorry morality i was reading it as a mortality so maybe your person really believe in one life and one chance okay your person really believe that yes i got one life i need to do whatever that is making me respectful and making me honorable person your person really love to get respect from other people they are very much high high social person okay they're having high status you know yeah that kind of a person with the morality a person may come from police justice or they're like military they're entrepreneur or they do work with police i don't know maybe they are in some business that is literally giving them a vibe of um like a powerful position like a king or a queen or like like emperor empress energy okay it's like they are the boss okay they are working with government are they are very much powerful in their career whatever they're doing something about power that is in their hand also you choose this queen card and snake is in the hand so that means your person really play with danger they play with fire they are so good in handling with those dangerous people or those you know fearful people or fearful animal your person is someone that they are you know in a way fearless okay they don't get scared of anything because they can fight with anything they are brave intelligent so my darling your person is very much busy by making them strong and making them invincible okay what's more about this person that you really need to know why you guys are not in a contact whatever is really tech what what's going on okay the sweat lodge your person is really doing so much hard work on themselves okay believe it or not my darlings i'm getting that your person is someone that they're building their body building their career they're you know they love to get respect from other people and status so they are working too hard so that they can achieve their goals i don't know they got some goal they got some ambition in their life and they need to complete those ambitions and they need to achieve those goals before they can get married to you so i can sense that your person is someone but they will work hard they are like hard working person work 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 success 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 money recognition respect that is all your person need right now and exactly that is all your person can see right now you know other people are trying to seduce your person and your person is like no i'm not looking for that one i'm looking for my wifey i'm looking for my hubby but wait first of all let me fix my career first of all let me earn more money so that i can get the beautiful honey yes my darling that's why your person is not in your life okay not in a connection let me tell you you're gonna be enjoying lots of luxurious power and respect in the society they belong from elite class okay they're they're really coming from that like aristocracy that is there in their chart oh my group number one i love it because you deserve this kind of a person okay what is there more what is there more i don't know maybe your person is really having some toxicity or some competition where they really need to do two things at one point of time so that's really making them more confused in present state okay uh, oh my god this serpent are you crazy i was exactly getting the snake energy or this serpentile kind of energy here look at that serpent is here that is about telling me healing qualities maybe your person is really coming from um, those healing professions okay they really help people or your person really someone that they do some dangerous things i don't know why i'm getting snakes are here snakes are here i can see that maybe your person is someone 
They are not scared of snakes. They are not scared of anything that usually people get scared okay your person is someone that they're like daredevil okay they are not scared of anything yeah they are very much fearless kind of a person also i'm getting with the serpent that that card is all about healing attributes or shell shedding the old skin that is really not serving you anymore kind of an eight of cups energy like your person is not in your life right now because they are healing themselves from something i don't know maybe your person was in a relationship or was in a partnership and that was hella toxic so your person is really moving that toxicity from their life and making peace and beautiful and positive energy in their life something you know like old skin is shedding and the new skin is coming okay exactly that is going on with your person that's why you guys are not in a connection also i can sense this relationship will be very much spiritual kind of a relationship you're gonna be feeling that spiritual bonding between you two maybe both of you really believe in divine timing and god I really need to read some of the, you know, messages about the serpent card number 46. Just bear with me, my darlings. What is there? The serpent power of the Kundalini is stirring within your chakras, gently asking you to embrace its mystery. Shed the old skin that you have been so attached to and welcome the vulnerable pink underbelly that will bring you a fresh experience of your life. Your passion and sexuality are awakening and this can be scary. Trust the wisdom of serpent to transform your sensual energies into beautiful original manifestation. So my darling, I can sense your future spouse right now they are manifesting you the more you are manifesting them but they are manifesting you more than that maybe their attraction power is more powerful than yours and my darling is be you you are always ready okay you are already ready to meet your future spouse but your person was not ready to meet you that's why uh, lots of delaying energy or you know resisting the change that's the energy coming from your person but your person is really now they are getting ready so that they can come to you as the as the real them yeah yeah i can sense lots of real things are coming in your way your person is someone honest authentic unique they are not gonna be wearing any kind of mask wow so what your person is going to provide you oh my god spontaneity that's amazing card look at that okay let me focus it my darling you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely lovingly embrace new situation exactly that's what i'm talking about that new new chapters are really opening for your person and your future spouse right now they are coming in your way because they're going to be shedding their old skin letting go of something that is not serving them anymore and coming into into your life because this person is divinely guided to you so you don't have you cannot find this person that is the main thing my darling go ahead do some online things search them online search them in physical world you cannot find them because it's not your duty to find your future spouse it's your future spouse's duty to find you okay this is what this life is all about in this lifetime your future spouse needs to find you so that they can give you the love that you really deserve okay you are always ready my darling you are already ready to meet this person but your person was you know was not ready but they are really making themselves ready they are coming out of something i don't know they're changing the location they're changing their mentality they're really now focusing on themselves now they are really you know solving the puzzles that was really making them oh my god so busy they are really now solving that problem having some beautiful peaceful resolution and now your person is ready to uh bring a beautiful family and look at that you guys are just meeting because you guys are divinely kind and you are the queen so you would really deserve to be you know someone that they are really coming to you and kneeling down before you so if you're a male watching this video your female partner but or your wife is going to find you yeah they're gonna be finding you because this is their work it's not your part of job okay this is their part because you are all because you are ready 
yes my group number one you are ready to meet this person but your person was not ready but they are really ready because they're gonna be giving you spontaneity one thing that i am sure of my group number one whoever you will marry this person will give you lots of freedom freedom in your soul freedom in your thinking process freedom in your physical body so Something about the freedom that you're going to be enjoying with this person. This person will never try to tie you down or give you some rules or regulations or norms. No, this is a beautiful person that gives you lots of freedom. Wings. I can see wings. I can see some healing energy. I can see they will be very much fair to you. Lots of fairness that is coming from your person. Okay. So what is about this relationship? okay time for a nap it's amazing that is really telling me my group number one your person is someone that they are not sleeping enough so maybe they're gonna be taking a beautiful nap they are no oh my god maybe in last few months or last few years your person was really working too hard in their company or in their job they're working too hard you know they have earned lots of money but they didn't take care of themselves but right now the, you know the, the time that you're watching this video i know this is timeless whenever wherever you're watching this video your person is taking a nap or they're taking rest and they are now thinking about settlement yes exactly that is going on in their mind they're sleeping they're thinking about the future they're thinking about what's the next plan what i'm gonna be doing besides or apart from the a career what i can do and then your person will be meeting you Oh my god, your person is like master manifester. Maybe you guys are already connected into the dream world. Maybe whenever you are closing your eyes, you can sense your person's energy. And you don't know where this energy is coming from. Sometimes it feels like, my group number one, you are talking to somebody. Or you are giving answers to somebody. But you don't know where those questions are coming from. Exactly, this is your future spouse's higher self communicating with you. Because I can change both of you. Are very much awakened okay my group number one i can sense like your future spouse and you both of you very much awakened like both of you can understand what is exactly going on with each other let's go see some of the clarification from the tarot whatever my group number one you need to know about this connection by guys because you guys are not in a connection not together you guys are separated you guys haven't met yet so what is exactly going on wow with the ten of pentacles your person is coming with a huge amount of money commitment success sustain sustainability and lots of good strong foundation no one can break that foundation with the ten of pentacles i can sense my group number one maybe this marriage will be a little bit of delay or maybe you feel like Oh my god i'm waiting for this person too long why this person is not coming in my life it feels like you are waiting too much for this person you know it's your mentality okay it's your thinking process or maybe you know everything is in perfect timing you, you feel like it's getting late but let me tell you you guys are separated because you have always wanted a rich have your wifey i am very much frank with you my darling okay i'm not telling you that you are a gold digger or you are a man or a woman who is watching this video you you enjoy money more than love no i'm not telling you that but you enjoy luxuriousness because you are a queen you are a king or a queen you belong to the kingdom you belong to this beautiful empire you have your own crown so you cannot settle down with someone who is just like a page who is just like a pauper you cannot you know settle down with anybody because you're ex you have expectation you have your own status you have your own dream and something that is not to your dream that is not you know matching your dream you cannot you cannot settle down with those people i am kidding because of your dream because you are a queen maybe it will take some time or maybe you know you are ready but your person that they are coming with you with a huge lot of you know bank balance <laughs> this is you know i am very much truthful to you i'm getting that my group number one believe it or not your person really got a very huge big bank balance okay <laughs> well they're they're having like 
Oh my god, unlimited credit cards, okay? <laughs> They're having money, luxuries, cars, beautiful home. Oh my goodness, yeah. They're gonna be having lots of rich, rich things. This person is definitely older than you, no matter who you are watching for. But they are definitely older than you because they got lots of experience in this, in the world. And they are definitely working lady or working man whoever you're watching for definitely they are successful they have earned lots of respect and success and they are still learning yeah something about rich money success material things are coming so yeah that will take time because you know it's uh, it's worth waiting for because if you want to enjoy all this luxuriousness then your person really need time to accumulate this money and they have accumulated and now they are ready to be with you so no matter uh, no, whatever your age is because it's not 18 plus for today okay so no matter what your age is it's you may be below 18 you may be above 18 above 30 above 40 above 50 doesn't matter but you are really attracting someone who is rich successful powerful they are very much healing materialistic and they are fearless that's the thing okay you cannot make your person fool this time okay because your future spouse is well experienced and they are very diplomatic their mind is very sharp and they are gonna be very much healing and i'm getting there very much sensual as well you're gonna be enjoying that sensuality that amazing physical touch with your person that's what i got for my group number one i hope you like this video my darling Give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you get notified by youtube whenever i upload new videos now my darlings i love you guys so much mwah, 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 mwah. hello my darlings amazing group number two so you choose the card number 65 the prayer okay so first of all let me tell you your prayer has been heard by angels and universe whatever your wish your dream is that is coming through your wild dream your oh my god magical manifestation that is exactly working my darlings because the prayer it's exactly coming as a tool so my darling your best tool or your best way to manifest anything is to prayer okay pray to the god pray to the angels pray to the universe and your each and every wish is heard has heard by angels and universe believe it or not but universe is really working so gratefully so that you can get whatever you want my group number two i can sense you're gonna be getting exactly whatever you have always wanted so maybe you have written down the qualities or whatever you want in your future spouse you know their look something about their character something about you know the situation that you want to have exactly everything you're gonna be having it like exactly damn things like line by line everything will be coming true for you believe it or not you're watching this video you choose this group number two that is the prayer exactly that is happening to you and my group number two i'm also getting that your future spouse is going to be someone you guys are not in a connection because there is some physical distance okay or you can say geographical distance i don't know why because look at that there is a beautiful hand that is really trying to reaching out to you look at that can you sense that yeah but i can sense you guys in a different different dimension different world or there is like you know geographical distance you don't know where they live they don't know where you live so yeah or maybe you guys really don't do those kind of um social media or texting or you guys are not so active in insta or facebook maybe you guys do that but you know not in chat box so you are not connected that is the main thing like you guys are already connected in fifth dimensional but not connected into this 3d world or into this internet world no you guys are not connected but why do i feel like my group number two you can sense that your future spouse is out there waiting for you and you guys are in a separation because of some lesson that you need to go on or some lesson that your future spouse need to go through um maybe you have already 
already coming out of that toxicity already coming out of that energy my group number two i don't know maybe you know you know very much recently maybe you did somebody or maybe you let go of something or let go of someone you are really working on your shadow attributes you are doing something about you know like um a shadow work okay you're really trying to get rid of your bad habits and be exactly the same thing that your future spouse is doing they're trying to make themselves more better version for you they are working on their body working on their habits working on their study working on their career self-development that is exactly going on between you two that's why you guys are not together also i can sense your person is really want to hold your hand because like look at that the hand is really coming out of that art okay well, like out of the blue look at that like this is like grass out of the art your person is really 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 coming your way and want to touch you want to hold your hand there is a beautiful egg that is like you know magical egg or i don't know what is that like a uh, beautiful star so something that is a kind of a celebration or you may you might meet this person in a festival or celebration or something like magical or that day will have some kind of uh, like festive day also i can see lots of like you know internet connection maybe there will be like online communication and online connection or uh, you'll be you know meeting this person in a, in, a, in a crowded place where lots of people are coming to enjoy something this may happen what else what i can sense from this card what I can sense from this card. I can um, also getting my group number two that you guys are not connected right now. Or you guys are not in a relationship because of your spiritual journey. My group number two. You need to discover yourself more spiritually so that you guys can come together. I'm getting for some of you. You guys are like spiritual healer. Or some spirituality is very much here. Okay, Maybe you are really learning your new talent. Your person is learning about their new talent. And because of that, you guys are not together. Yeah. There is something that you need to know about yourself, my group number two. And you are really exactly doing it right now. Okay, I need another one card. I don't know why. But angels are really telling me to pull one more card from this deck. To give you a more clear energy. Okay, let's go see that whatever comes that comes okay my darling oh my goodness the offering wow and that is card number 64 64 65 so there is some kind of like you know four five six because 64 65 there is a little four five six or synchronicities will happen also i can see this hand that is exactly you know give me your hand or maybe they're gonna be like you know they will want your hand they will ask for your hand in marriage proposals is coming i can see in the moon that is a secret person coming towards you very much intuitive the offering why do i feel like some present offering sacrifice or it is about spirituality that is very much needed my darling look at that the prayer and the offering these two are exactly coming together my darling both of you are like in a twin flame journey twin flame connection and both of you need to offer yourself to the god just go with the flow okay don't try to control anything because this offering card is telling me that you need to offer your love affection your soul to the god okay so god can control everything in your life so you are offering your everything to the god and you are really surrendering to the universe exactly that's why you guys are not in a connection because lots of spiritual growth that you need to do separately then you guys will be coming together to teach each other or to learn more about this life you guys are really going to be great psychics great astrologer life coach spiritual healers motivational speakers are great person you know like great altruistic person charitable person oh my god both of you are coming together to bring lots of balance in this world wow the offering you guys are going to be offering yourself to the world lots of social work that you guys will be doing wow my group number two it's such a powerful card to get right so prayer praying you know spirituality that is exactly your world maybe your future spouse is coming or they, maybe they're doing something philosophical maybe they're really helping 
the society to make a great place okay they're really spreading lots of positive energy they're really helping other people physically mentally spiritually or materially to lead a beautiful happy life doing something else to understand what the life is Maybe you guys all look at that. Again, integration. That is card number 14, temperance card. Also with the yin and yang. Definitely, my darlings, you guys are in a twin flame journey, twin flame connection. That's why, you know, one is chaser and the other one is runner. And look at that, what's happening. You were chasing this person, but right now, you stop chasing them because you surrender. You offer yourself. You surrender to the universe. You offer yourself, your luck, your everything to the God. And you are letting God decide whatever good for you and whatever bad for you. So that's why God will really make that connection, make that unionship easy for you. And exactly you are doing it right, my darling. Okay. Stop looking for this person. Stop it. My group number two, if you're getting impatient, stop looking out for this person, okay? You don't have, you cannot, you cannot find this person outside, okay? Because I'm getting, this is Twin Flame Connection, this is a beautiful Twin Flame Unionship, and this will happen in the perfect timing when you will be finding yourself more. So, it's good for you to watch tarot videos and to hype yourself up that yes, you're on the right path. Go and listen to some music, do your own work and try to find your own hobby. Try to enjoy time with yourself or focus on yourself, okay? Do whatever you want to do. Maybe that's why you guys are not in a connection because, oh my God, lots of growth is here, spiritual growth is here. You guys really are, oh my God, you got something that your person doesn't got and you, you lack something that your person got it. So are you getting my point, my darling? So it's like black and white coming together. It's a beautiful union ship. That's why you guys are not together because your person will chase you down. Maybe you were a chaser and when twin flames, you know, when, when twin flames are chasing each other, it's very much difficult to find them. So just stop and go with the flow. Trust the universe. Keep praying and lose all the controls. Do not, con do not try to control any kind of situation. You know, maybe you're very much learning lots of lesson. okay? You're learning about timing. You're learning about divine timing. That's exactly what you're learning or what your person is learning. Yeah, no thingness is here. I am getting this card is the you no know, perfect void. Something that is unknown, surprising nature. No thingness is really telling me the ultimate. This is our ultimate. Um, What do you say? Ultimate salvation or nirvana? That is no thingness. Nothing really exists in this world. This is exactly like a dream world, my darling. That we are living in this world is it's exactly a dream. We die and we wake up into the another dimension. That is the truth. And this is just a dream world. This is like a matrix. So my group number two, I am getting that your person is right now going through some spiritual awakening. You are going through some spiritual awakening and that's why you guys are not in a connection. You are knowing yourself, you're knowing your talent, you are knowing what you're good at, what you're bad at. Your person is knowing that what they're good at, what they're bad at. Lots of, you know, self-growth is here, self, you know, soul searching is here. Like both of you are going for some hermit mode, yeah. Like go within soul searching. That's why you guys are not together. Maybe your person really need to understand what the true meaning of life. And after that, they will come in this union ship. Okay. Why do I feel like your person is really not interested in marriage? Or right now your future spouse not interested in marriage or love? I know it seems like fake to your person so your person really need to understand love first before they can come to you okay they're really going through that learning process no matter what your age is if you're not ready if your person is not ready you cannot have this connection because i can sense my group number two you guys are very much powerful and you meant to have that highest level of spiritual connection with your person it's not only going to be marriage it's something that is beyond your imagination yeah, that is silence card number 17. That is the card of the star, right? So this star card is really telling me, you know, these trees are major arcana. No thingness is the hierophant card. 
this is you know temperance number 14 this is number 17 the star card this silence is really telling me manifestations are coming through for my group number two i don't know if you're manifesting a person that is your crush that is a celebrity that is someone beyond your uh league okay i don't know maybe you got eyes on some specific person or you got eyes for for a person that you don't know them physically but you know their characteristics or qualities so when you are silent when you are really going with the flow and trusting the universal time then everything will be coming together and exactly you're going to be learning about divine timing more with this beautiful relationship so my group number two i can sense go on praying go on manifesting this person because your manifestation is working so well the main guidance for you is offer yourself to the god give yourself to the god give your desire your love your affection your ego your problems your solution everything to the god that is the only way that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve that ultimate sacrifice that ultimate offer of wisdom wow maybe this relationship is really gonna be teaching you some big lesson you know you're gonna be knowing the true meaning of marriage maybe your person is really not ready for marriage okay they really need to understand what the what the real meaning of family life what is the true meaning of getting married what is the meaning of the better half what is the meaning of this yin and yang com connection maybe a person need to know all this stuff before you can come into this union ship because your person is a very deep person very intense person they're not shallow type they are not shallow yeah look at that existence four major arcana it is the magician card number one for me you know when you are gonna be meeting your person your person's first reaction will be oh my god you exist in this world i thought you were not exist in this world exactly my group number two that is going to happen you're gonna be meeting your person and it feels like oh my god we exist in this world and we are gonna be having this amazing connection together and it's too good to be true my group number two you are going to be like a magician you're gonna be you know look at that the star shooting star your wish that is coming true this is a material right so you are gonna be believing this existence of god or existence of existence of god existence of the universe existence of the speed guides and everything you're gonna be believing in all of those stuff even more after meeting this beautiful future spouse your future spouse is someone they are highly intuitive maybe you are also highly intuitive connected to the divine connected to your angels connected to your ancestors um and i'm getting you guys are not in a connection because you guys are not ready to be with each other okay my group number two um lots of spiritual stuff is going on you guys in a spiritual journey okay you're, go you're gonna be knowing yourself knowing your journey knowing what you're good at knowing what you're bad at knowing everything about yourself exactly that exactly that's what is going on with you my group number two you're gonna be knowing yourself they're gonna be knowing themselves and look at that you guys are coming together what is more oh my god the crow exactly crow is the transporter of the of the you know next life of the next something that is not that is that you cannot see you know when we die then crow is the only one that is really transporting our soul to the underworld or to the heaven crows have that connection to the hell and the heaven so they are the transporter so they are literally transporting you from one place to another because they have that blessing so the crow in this connection i'm getting that my there is lot of truth that is coming so your person will never lie to you and you will never lie to your person lots of truth that is coming out of this connection so why you guys are not together because of some 
specific spiritual journey that you need to do alone and your person need to do that alone and then when you guys are really becoming that powerful and coming together as a power couple so there is lots of self growth that is very much needed and how how you can grow yourself go for meditation okay try to understand what you need okay um try to find out what your hobby is try to find out what is your strength what you can do and what you are very much fear of or try to understand why those fears are coming or you no know, try to understand what your hobby is or just go and try your out your hobby okay try new things that is very much needed what a self growth that you're going to be having or you're going to be getting some lessons before you can meet this person maybe you have already been through those lessons and you are ready to meet this person but these cards are telling me that you are becoming very psychic very witchy before you are going to be meeting this one yeah the sun that's what i'm talking about the sun is here that is exactly telling me you are getting successful you are gaining money you are gaining recognition you are getting lots of lots of success and light and positivity because in this mystic mystic uh sorry mystical shaman oracle cards the sun card is exactly the egyptian sun god ra okay so it's all about burning hot you're famous you are really very much happy for whatever or whoever you are or whatever you have become you are very much happy with that so why you guys are separated because you you guys need to glow up individually then coming together as sun and moon like two suns are coming together okay so the sun is really telling me the sun and the crow that why you guys are currently you guys are not in a connection because my darling your person is a successful one and your person is doing lots of beautiful success in their career in their study and they are attracting a beautiful successful person that is exactly you so you need to become a successful person so that you can attract this person as your future happy or wifey because you guys are destined to meet because it's a twin flame journey you want it or not you're going to be meeting this person this is destined this is already in your destiny but i am getting there is like you are successful they are successful you are earning money they are earning money you are getting famous they are getting famous two celebrities are coming together or whatever you are doing okay whatever you are doing you are doing something it's not necessarily that you are earning money maybe you are doing something that is making you happy are you really trying to uh, you know uh, find out your own talent that yes i can do that oh my god it's a unique talent okay like you can make something you can create something you have some talent in that so you can you can tell other people that you are very much good in that thing or good in xyz good in abcd you can tell other people so your person is really um that's why not in your life because you need to know yourself as a sun maybe you're not using your full potential my group number 2 you need to understand that why you are so special maybe you are quite spiritual person you are very much witchy maybe you you really love to do some tarot reading in future if you really love to do that go and buy them buy a beautiful tarot go and do something okay the search something try to use your intuition um try to do something that's make you happy maybe you really want to become famous you want to become a singer a beautiful creator you want to become a writer a beautiful doctor engineer whatever okay you want to become an entrepreneur you want to become a beautiful lawyer whatever you want to become try to do that pursue that path because that path is very much needed to meet this person you guys are separated because you need to understand yourself before you can understand them because you guys really mirror each other okay so you know mirroring each other it's amazing effect so when you understand yourself then you can understand other people more easily right because it becomes very much easy to understand what other people are trying to say because you can put yourself in their shoe you can understand whatever they're trying to say because you can understand yourself so that is very much needed okay self healing is very much needed so that you can have this amazing in and yang connection because twin flame journeys are not easy and this is not so easy to find twin flame connection okay my group number 2 you need to heal yourself first so that you can have this amazing connection so 
what your person is going to give you in this amazing relationship what they're going to be offering you freedom you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations to the loving energy of openness so my amazing group number two your person is going to give you lots of freedom in this connection you're going to be feeling free in this amazing relationship lots of freedom independence you know i was getting from the star and the crow crow is all about you know your future spouse really don't like lies and your future spouse is very good at breaking the chains or breaking the cycles your future spouse is very good at you know uh, breaking the rules or breaking something that was not working for them so exactly this person will help you to come out of something that is not really working for you or give you a free mind give you a free thinking so that you can choose whatever good for you and whatever right for you so exactly my darling that your person going to give you wow freedom it's amazing wow freedom is here yeah what's more is here chaos and conflict card number 33 so why do i feel like your future spouse is someone that that is really going to help you to get rid of that chaos that mental chaos and conflict or maybe your person is going to be your personal obsidian or personal uh, selenite they are really going to help you to get rid of negative energy you know my group number two i can sense that maybe right now you are like a beautiful empathetic person and you pick up other people's energy so easily sometimes you forgot to understand what you really feel like but your person is someone that they are gonna be helping you to understand what is your feelings and what is other feelings so if you're going through some chaos or conflict or it may indicate that when your life is quite unstable or when you really finding that stability or something you know something like you know you're not feeling so good you're feeling kind of a bore or it's kind of like mental conflict is going on you are just confused you know you don't know where you are going exactly at the point of time you're going to be meeting your person as soon as you heal yourself you become somebody that you always wanted to become you embrace yourself whatever you got you are loving your talent you're loving your flaws and exactly the point of time when some conflict or something that is really making you confused and that is really making you feel like you don't know what you need. Look at that in the bottom of the deck you got the happy happy card. So in that chaos and conflict your person is coming in your way to give you some solution. To give you some beautiful advice. To give you a beautiful settled life that you have always wanted. So before meeting this person or maybe at that day you're going to be meeting this person. That day will start with some conflict, chaos, argument uh, or some, you know, some, some negative news. Or you're not happy with that. You're not happy uh, from the morning and in the evening or suddenly you just met somebody, the most important person in your life. Yes, my darling. Yes. But why do I feel like my group number two, meeting you, that is going to be making a beautiful spark in your person's mind. But to your mind, it's not a big deal, okay? You just made a new person. You just made a beautiful person that they are successful in their career. You're not going to be looking at this person and thinking that they will be your future spouse. No, not at all. But meeting you was kind of a magical for your future spouse. You know, in their side, it feels something magical. But to your side, it feels like, oh my God, I was having the bad day from the morning. Why every time that is happening to me? Oh my God. So yeah, you're going to be feeling that kind of chaos and conflict. And you, you, you want to get rid of that energy. You want to get rid of that daily routine. You need to get rid of that something that was not serving you anymore some unnecessary work or i don't know some unnecessary argument that is really breaking out in front of you okay so you need to really get out of that energy my group number two wow it's amazing right well i know there is also the energy of coyote spirit like early disappointments it's like you know 
like this guy is like you know gift in disguise exactly that is going to happen okay maybe this person is really coming as a coyote spirit like divine detour okay it feels like oh my god i i don't know that that day that was such a heavy day for me and i met that amazing important special person in that day yes that is really going to happen so why you guys are oh my god one card really flipped here that is the best card ever that i got 10 of cups and after that chaos and conflict whatever i said exactly that is going to be true 10 of cups is all about emotional fulfillment success in love area you know your life your marriage life your uh, love new love new connection trust loyalty fulfillment feeling happy feeling loved caring all of this stuff is here so why you guys are not in connected like not in a connection and you guys are separated because of this thing because you need to go through your own lesson you need to go through your own self-development your future spouse need to go their own self-development and something related to spirituality or understanding life and understanding <clears throat> the meaning of marriage that is very much needed maybe you, your future spouse is someone completely different okay their thought process is completely different they need to understand why we get married okay why the society is really having that marriage institution why the hell is there you know why we need children why we need all those things you know your, your person is very much skeptical in, the, in those things but they need to understand the meaning of marriage the meaning of family okay and the meaning of love they need to understand that and after that you guys are coming to that and this person is going to love you like crazy they met you their life changed for better you met them your life changed for better you, know, you both of you are going to be changing each other's life i am getting you guys are like two extremes fire and water okay <laughs> like two extremes are coming together are you sensing my point my it's like superly extreme power are coming together and making this amazing beautiful connection and that is really going to bring lots of positivity lots of power to this world you and your future spouse both of you are going to be making this world far more beautiful for the future wow that's why the prayer card is here like angels are really working so hard so that you guys can be together because that is really going to make this earth the beautiful planet ever this is all I got for my group number two. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, my darling, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you're notified by YouTube whenever I upload new videos. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Hello, my darlings. We're amazing group number three. So you choose this. Card number 48, the underworld. This is your reading. First of all, this underworld this card you know the underworld is all about spirituality deep dark spirituality for some of you it's witchcraft maybe you are into witchcraft or maybe you are you love to do that kind of a spell or you love to watch those you know sci-fi dark movies like witch hunter or you know harry potter or something like that okay you love to watch those movies or your person really want to be in that amazing world that is exactly different from this usual earth the underworld is all about deep dark spirituality crazy intuition so both of you are separated not in a connection are you guys really um haven't met each other because you need to learn how to control your darkness how to control um the beautiful demon okay I know demons are not beautiful, but how to control that demonic energy or devilish energy in you. My group number three, your person is someone that they are really trying to fight their shadow attributes right now. The underworld is also telling me your person really got many hidden talent, many hidden things that they are hiding from this world. But both of you need to understand that those hidden talents are very much needed to to achieve something great okay you know the story of persephone and hades maybe this is exactly going to be your love story okay persephone and hades it's like the story of you know um joker and harley queen like harley quinzel and what is the name of joker um pudin 
okay so you know this is kind of like villain love story i don't know my darling what i'm telling like my group number three this love story really looks like so so intense very much passionate your person feels so protective of you and you guys not together in this connection right now because you guys need to understand how much powerful you are like you are understanding how much powerful you are your person is understanding how much powerful they are and you guys can fight with each other like for each other okay standing exactly um in a team and both of you can <clears throat> and oh my god having some throat chakra problem maybe your person is right now uh they are smoking they are drinking or i don't know they are feeling very much hard to express themselves um wow my group number 3 your person is someone you guys are not in a connection you guys separated because you guys need to understand you guys are different okay your person you both of you are different from others both of you are having some different purpose some different choices something different i'm getting my talents my pile number 3 mm. you know this is a card of death huge 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 transformation that is happening in you it happening in your person and lots of dark stuff that you are knowing lots of sexual and sensual stuff that your person is knowing that you are knowing and look at that you guys you and your future spouse both of you individually privately you guys already know lots of you know magical things that happen in this earth okay i want to know some more i need to take a one more card okay i don't know why angels are telling me to pull one more card to understand more because this underworld is telling me that your person is very much connected to their demon side or to their demonic world to their materialistic world your person is not so much spiritual or uh, your future spouse right now or maybe you also okay your third eye is blocked or sometimes you know you have hard time to pick pile for yourself sometimes you get confused so sometimes you choose wrong pile and come back to the perfect pile for yourself or uh, i don't know my darling the underworld is all about angels are telling you that you guys are not together because you need to come out of that negativity come out of that pessimistic energy maybe your person is really going through some nightmares or you guys are having some nightmares or i i don't know some dangerous or fearful dreams pile number 3 you guys are not in a connection because your person needs to get rid of that toxicity in their life what's the more more card okay let's go read that oh my god the king yes So if you are drawn to pile 1 you can see that because the king is there the queen was there so maybe your future spouse maybe my pile 1 3 are going to be getting married together if you are drawn to group 1 maybe that was your person's energy or maybe that was your energy and this is your person's energy so if your future spouse is watching this video they're going to be choosing pile 1 to know more you to know more about you or vice versa the king is here that is exactly telling me that your person may be the king of the underworld exactly the hades is the king of the underworld um also the king card that is telling me that you know right now you guys are not together because your person needs to take care of their kingdom needs to take care of their empire are uh, they're earning lots of money they're they are very much strong Pile number three, they are entrepreneur. They got lots of luck. You know, they got lots of power in them. Look at that, lots of you know vibrant color like solar plexus chakra, sacral chakra, root chakra. Your person is very sexual. This is the main thing that I'm getting. Card number twelve is here. Number twelve, maybe that is going to be very important for you. But the underworld, you are drawn to that. Maybe my darlings, you are someone you love the love story of villains. Maybe your person also love to see. the story that is exactly about villains maybe you are someone my group number 3 that you understand that villains are more beautiful and more truthful than the heroes because villains they don't act like heroes or they don't act so so happy every time okay they really think about their own self more so my group number 3 can sense like you guys are separated because you need to 
find that balance what's more okay because it's so mysterious for some of you my group number three definitely you are a witch watching my video or you are having that witchy vibe in yourself okay you know it or not but you are very much powerful manifester and in the future when you guys will be together your person will be superly or overly possessive towards you it's not negative for you or it's not giving you negative energies but they will try to protect you or possess you so much so they are a jealous guy or a jealous girl okay <laughs> the underworld okay maybe your person really they are not so expressive okay your person is really trying to express their you know, themselves more so why you guys are not together guidance is here okay so please go and check number one group number one because you know the guidance card was also there guidance is here your person is really superly guided towards you you cannot see them coming because you know your future spouse he or she really doesn't know that they are guided look at that they're looking another way but angels are really holding their hands and guiding them to you or guiding you to them. And you guys really know each other, okay? You guys don't know each other, but you guys are very much guided towards each other. I can sense that your future spouse and you need to understand that, you know, compromise, under you know, understanding or adjustments is very much needed in this love relationship. I don't know you guys were a kind of a shell, you know, selfish type or self-centered. I'm not telling my group number three were like that, but maybe your person was like that or right now they're like that. They're really trying to change themselves or a deep transformation that is happening in your person's life and they are becoming into a different one. Maybe when you're going to be looking at your person's childhood picture you're not gonna be believing them in that or maybe your person is really going through some karmic cycles that is really telling them that you know how negative people can be oh my god yes past lives card number 18 that is the moon card right card number 18 is the moon yeah so i am getting my group number three your future spouse right now they are cutting cords from the karmic cycles they're cutting cords from the people from the past life those karmic cycles are going away from their life or you are cutting cords from past lives and you are really coming out of that past lives connection okay no more karmic debts for you you guys are coming out of that my group number three yes congratulations you are not gonna be opening up opening up for unnecessary people you're gonna be closing your hard so that not only other people but also those negative vampires cannot get to you my group number three why you guys are separated because of karmic cycles okay because of karmic cycles because of some lesson that you need to know because of the underworld i don't know but before meeting this person you're gonna be going through some deep uh, deep kind of a transformation that is going to be changing your alchemy that is going to change your thought process that is going to be changing your uh, taste or choice in marriage okay or something and you're going to be knowing that something that looks perfectly fine on on the outside like on superficial doesn't necessarily they are very much good in the uh, in the inside okay yeah you're, you're knowing that villains are not so bad so for some of you my group number three this is a story where bad boy or bad girl falling in love with good girl or good boy yeah that is exactly going to happen okay why you guys are not together the miserk no no four that is a four of pentacle and you got the source okay that is the s of ones so i am getting why you guys are not separated because your person they are well aware of those beaches gold diggers maybe your person is right now cutting cords from a gold digger or from a bad toxic partnership it's maybe in business partnership it's maybe they're from some family members it's maybe their ex-partner but i'm i don't see any love thing okay i don't see any kind of a uh, breakup or divorce no i don't see that my group number three i can see your person is knowing that some people were there in their life and those people were taking your person's money 
gems and treasures from them so your person is now cutting the cord so that they can save more money and more luxurious things for you with the swords card i am getting that your future spouse now coming to meet you because the universe is really helping them to start a new journey the source is all about pregnancy the source is all about starting a new life or just birthing a new company birthing uh, something new ideas okay look at that in the bottom of the deck we are the world that is the ten of pentacles maybe you're going to be meeting this person in a in a celebration or when other people are collaborating with something or in a crowded place or in somewhere that other people are coming together so you're going to be meeting them at that place yeah with the politics in reverse your person is really living those dark side of them i don't know your person was a kind of a devilish in past or they were a player type yeah yes my group number three your person was a player type in the past because they thought that they are not gonna be loving anybody because every female or every girl really wants money they don't they want to love anyone and every boys they're all about sex and love not in sex and everything not into love i don't know your person was having some misconception about love or then they really didn't receive the true love from anyone that is the main reason okay that's why you guys are separated because your person needs to understand that not all the people are sam and there is also some good people who really live in this society okay there there is also some honest and authentic people are there so your person needs to understand that and your person needs to come out of their karmic cycles come out of their lessons maybe your person is really getting lessons oh my god lots of lessons that your person already got with the moon card lots of emotional things that your person is really going through and i am sensing my group number three your person is not gonna be telling you how much rich they are or how much money they got maybe they are stable very much stable in financial status but they are not gonna be showing you that how much stable they are in finances because they think that everyone come in their life to get their money to get their um attention but not love them okay i don't know your future spouse was having some toxic friendship and they were never been in love before that's why the underworld is here maybe your person was really having connection uh, with those friends with those people they're very much toxic or not in spiritual world anymore okay they are superly materialistic because you know the good side of the underworld is that this is a card of superly extremely rich okay so your person is gonna be extremely rich they're gonna be having some black money or black money no way that cash money okay they're gonna be having cash money a lots of money cash in their room in their home oh my god some kind of like mafia vibes you know they're getting that money and they're thinking that they can buy anything with money they can buy anything but your future spouse need to understand love is something that you cannot buy with money okay so lots of understanding that is going on maybe first time they meet you and they can feel that oh my god this is what love is okay your future spouse never ever find love okay they never found love before yeah that's the main thing so why you guys are not together yeah the hummingbird is here because your person was all about in present moment they were no or you were all about in the present moment or right now also you are enjoying your present moment your present life you're not really worrying about the future you are just going with the flow oh my god my darlings let me tell you you and your person both of are very much acceptable okay this is the you know common feature in both of you you guys accept each other's flaws accept each other no matter what the thing is okay so the hummingbird is telling me that you guys are not together right now you guys are separated right now because you need to understand that everything in present time that really matters because past and future you cannot touch them you cannot change the past you cannot see the future but if you act beautiful in the present moment your future moment will be best out of it yes that's the main thing that is you know lots of lessons i don't know maybe your future spouse was having lots of dark lessons in their life 
maybe they need to go through lots of darkness lots of abandonment i really hate this energy because you know i am getting some like left alone left in the cold darkness jealousy or you know competitiveness or you know dark competition or like murder kill oh my god like lots of darkness you know you understand that kind of like darkness gambling energy like lots of money and luxurious things but not a point of spirituality okay there is no drop of spirituality oh my goodness oh my goodness it's exactly the story that a bad boy falling in love with a good girl or vice versa a bad girl falling in love with a good boy wow oh my goodness what's there it's a child maybe your person is someone that they need to heal their inner child maybe their childhood was traumatic okay that was traumatic and your person really you know inside they are very childish but they really need to heal that i don't know my group number three you see or not i don't know if you're into bl dramas or not but you know there is like king porsche the main series i don't know if you watch it or not so there is like you know the kin the mr kin that is a personality that they are like doll or mafia and the new bodyguard is a porsche so porsche is exactly you my group number three and kin is exactly your person okay that is like you know bromance or gay movie i'm not telling you that you guys are gay or lesbian i'm just giving you the personalities okay you are more of a like fun loving energetic happy happy energy but your person have seen lots of darkness okay so that needs to come into a beautiful balance right so that's the main thing wow so maybe your person is very much childish that they they need to heal their inner child and you're going to be helping them to heal their inner child so before that you need to understand what really inner child feels so lots of healing energy going on with you my group number three and that's that's why your person is coming towards you so that you can heal them and have an amazing life you know what your person is going to be superly committed towards you they're going to be very 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 committed okay so what your person is going to give you in this relationship what they're going to be offering you virtue you acknowledge your loving spiritual attribute that encourage others to grow my group number three your person is going to be giving you virtue this is a virtuous person and you know in this relationship both of you understand the meaning of spirituality the meaning of true love you know love is something that you are just happy because your person loves you okay it doesn't matter if they're physically touching you or not but that person love you okay you are cared someone is thinking about you you know that that thoughts that feelings you know your person was not into that love before your your person was not cared before but you're going to be giving them that care but before giving them care you need to understand what the care is and exactly in this learning process you are going through you are going through all this learning process you know you're going to be giving them care you're going to be uh, caring about them you know asking them hey did you take your dinner are you okay what how was your day your person is not used to it okay they're not used to it like that amazing caring nature that nurturing energy your person really didn't receive any kind of nurturing energy from anybody else before you you're gonna be giving them for the first time so now you understand why you guys are not together yeah <laughs> because you are someone that you are capable of giving them something that they cannot buy that thing with money and your person can give you something that you cannot buy that thing with nurturing okay so it's like so beautiful balance like they're like sugar daddy or sugar mommy i don't know my darling oh my god my group number three what the hell is going on here i love this energy so much your person is superly committed that i can oh this card wanted to come out so your person is superly committed they're very much loyal and i feel that they're gonna be giving lots of surprises lots of gifts yeah like money is something that they really want to give you that amazing luxurious 
or you know exotic experience okay so what is your come come to the edge so me and my darling you're gonna be meeting this person at the point of time when you are least expecting them to meet yeah come to the age this card is all about when you are really not expecting to meet your future spouse in that moment and boom you end up meeting that person okay come to the age is all about you are just going with the flow you are exactly at the age of this cliff and you are not afraid of jumping because you know angels are gonna be catching you so this relationship really looks like that like you don't know what is the future thank you my baby lizard you don't know what is the future of this relationship you don't know that if this person is lying to you or not but you are jumping into this connection because you trust your angels you trust your universe you know that angels will never fail you angels will never give you anyone or any relationship that is harmful to you are you getting my point my group number three like you know looking at this person many people will warn you that hey I don't think this person is so good or I don't think this person is um, so much trustworthy okay so be careful so you will be feeling like I don't know I don't know if it's okay for me or not but it feels like I can trust this person you know it's your intuition it's your gut feelings that is going to guide you yeah so you're gonna be jumping from the cliff and yes angels are going to catch you because angels love you so much my group number three. Oh my darling i don't know how many of you will resonate with this but i can sense your person is crazily rich and they are get they're, they're having a hidden money you cannot see that money hidden money liquid money or they are already investing money in land in uh, you know some stock market they are really buying some share in on the, another companies like lots of like invested money this person already got okay you cannot you know, and, and they're, they're gonna be having lots of cash in their closet you know for some of you they're having gun you know private gun i don't know they are very much uh, a rich person that government really give them permission to keep that kind of a protective tools yes yes my darling wow i love it many people really respect them wow you know they are very respectful and they will give you respect they will give your family lots of respect and whenever they will be talking to you it feels like they are so smooth so you got this star card that's what i'm talking about look at that the one on the underwall the star it goes so well so why you, you guys are not together yet because this star this amazing wish fulfillment that is exactly coming towards you you need to be ready for that you know when this person is going to come in your life you will be in your full potential and you you are so powerful okay you are not afraid of that everyone okay i don't know what other people are saying but your family is going to support you you're gonna be having support from your mom from your dad from your family members from your siblings from your friends you're gonna be having support that yes if you feel like this is the right person for you, you can go for it we are not gonna be you know um giving you negative vibes okay we are, we are not going to stop you but be careful the star card is all about telling me you your wish your manifestation that is coming true. maybe you have always wanted this kind of a person maybe you have always wanted that i want to marry someone like a don that you yeah, they're gonna be protecting me and everyone wants to be my, with my person but i am the one that they are really falling in love with me they're gonna be protecting you you know man or a woman doesn't matter okay but you are someone you always wanted this kind of a person always wanted to enjoy that thing and you're gonna be enjoying the star is all about manifestation the star is all about something that you cannot see coming towards you the star is all about name, fame, success, Aquarius energy. Maybe you and your future spouse, you're really gonna be, you know, having this life like a lots of secrets are there. Okay, I don't know, like lots of secretive things are there. Maybe you guys are gonna be having your secret beautiful mansion that other people have no idea. Wow. And look at that. I am getting that your person is gonna be treating you like the gym. 
Thank you, my baby lizard. I am getting your person really treat you like the beautiful gem. Like you are the diamond. They are going to be protecting you. They love you crazily. They love you endlessly. Once they, once they got you, they just got you. They are superly committed because they are virtuous. Yes, they are virtuous and they are superly committed. Wow. I can sense my group number three. You guys are not together because you need to become more mature to get this person. Or this person needs to clear their karmic debt so that they can come to you. Oh my God. Lots of richness, money, unexpected meeting. Uh, you know, first of all, you know, other people really get intimidated by your future spouse. But you feel so connected with them. You don't, you are not scared. You are not feeling uncomfortable while talking to them. It's like, you know, like inner bonding, inner connection that you guys are having. And your person feels so safe with you. Your person feels so safe with you, so safe to open up their heart to you, no matter what they do for a living, okay? Wow. <laughs> well, my group number three, if you're still watching this video, you deserve it. You are someone, oh my God. It's amazing, crazy reading, right, my darling? <laughs> I love you guys so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, my darling, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you're going to be notified by YouTube whenever I upload new videos. I love you guys so much. Stay blessed and happy. Mwah, 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 mwah.